Hey there, Capricorn. The magician energy is on the bottom of the deck. This is knowing you have the power to pull off the magic. So, okay, we're going to look at this and see what the overriding energy for the week is for you. The Fool. This is new starts kind of sideways. This might be a delay in those new starts and learning to trust. Trust that the universe has you. Take that leap of faith and move forward. Something new is afoot. All right. We're looking at the heaven and earth deck to see what's going on currently in your situation. Whoa, the cards are talking and popping. All right. This is what we're seeing, folks. We have justice in reverse. Something doesn't feel quite fair. There is a lesson, karmic lesson coming at you. There needs to be balance and there might be a delay. Somehow the scales are out of balance. Um, it doesn't mean somebody's doing you dirty or doing you wrong. It just could be that there is a delay. It could be that it feels unfair. It could be that you're feeling penalized for whatever reason. But there might be purpose in it. Trust that this is a big lesson. Whenever justice shows up, it's a big learning, big learning opportunity. All right. Then you have abundance. This is celebration. This is over celebrating, perhaps overindulging, perhaps um, not necessarily prematurely celebrating, but just celebrating excessively. Um, this is community surroundings, things, others around you that you want to draw in. And this is either doing too much or too little of that, not being aware of the balanced community. So this is balancing others around you. This is, let me flip this so you can see. She can't see the people around her that are the support and she's feeling upside down and kind of a little lost and like, where's the justice? This is unfair, right? These are in reverse. They're around her somewhere, but she can't see them. Maybe there is more support around her that if she could take the blindfold off, have a different shift in perspective, she would see. It could be time for growing that community around you, for reaching out, for extending yourself. I mean, be cautious in what you're doing, you know, pandemic, blah, blah, blah. But this is a time to understand that there is love being offered in community near. It might be a little different than what you expect it to look like. Queen of Wands, very fiery, and Valor, upside down. Are you being overly defensive about something? Are you battling something that you don't need to battle? Is it already won, but you're still being defensive? This is Valor. Um... Seven is also about clarity, advancement and clarity. Now the nine is when you're making your last strong stand and you're just almost done, but you're weary. The seven, you still have this strength. You just need to get clear. Set good boundaries. Be clear about what it is you're pursuing and what you want. Then you have the queen of wands. This is that um, fiery, sparkly energy. This is you being in your best self, being called to shine in your best self. When it's in reverse, there's like an agenda and pushy, pushy. When it's upright, this is be approachable. Understand your own value. Understand this passion, this fire that um, gets you excited. Things that you want to pursue. Understand those. Invest your time in things that inspire you, that take you to new heights. Surround yourself with those that understand your desires to move forward. Get clear on what those desires are. This is the time to start things again, to let things come to life again, okay? All right, we're going to look at some undercurrents. Well, actually, let's look at one or two more things. Well, I guess two more things. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands, just after the Valor, the Eight of Wands. A lot of things are coming at you. Now, in this deck, they're showing clear focus and direction. So you are sending messages out. You're sending messages out on every vibration, vibrational wavelength there is right now. It's practically just thrumming off of you when you're in this stage energetically you're sending that pulse out this fire is coming to life in you and you are braving whatever the next lessons are you have the strength and the desire and the the heart of the warrior to get things handled eight of wands is putting yourself out there then you have the page of swords this is somebody that has a little bit of overconfidence they they have information they might be a little bit sometimes they're called the spy card they can be, hmm, they can be snipey. Sometimes they can't wield as much power as they think they should, and so they get snipey with others on it. Sometimes there's gossip in the workplace that that would indicate. Sometimes there's just overall harshness. Sometimes it's saying slow down, get a better handle on the truth before you move forward. So get a handle on what really is true, is what this is telling you. What's the truth of the situation? All right, 
undercurrents going on from Tarot of Vision Realm. Nine of Pentacles. This is an independent energy. This is where your rewards are coming from the efforts that you've made. Whoa. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. The rewards are coming from the investments you've been putting in things. This is where there's financial rewards paying off and asking you to have a bigger perspective. Now, when I say get a better handle on the truth, and this is saying perspective, this is start looking at things, start focusing well. Really, really be in your energy of what your desire is, what your passion is, what really gets you excited about life. Get focused on that. Let's start moving towards that. This is a time. And then we have justice. Again, upside down justice. All right. Something is delayed. Something feels unfair. Something feels like out of balance. Again, we're getting this message. This is justice. So if you have something that you need to make right with another person, make it right. If there's a karmic debt owed, it might be coming towards you at this time. If you are the one owing the karmic debt, time to pay up. Time to balance those scales. If apologies are necessary, make them. If restoration is necessary, do what it takes. Get this karmic scale back in balance. Do pay it forward type stuff. Be aware and patient. If if you feel like somebody owes you an apology and it isn't coming forward, understand that karma understands this and just because you're not getting the apology doesn't mean that things won't eventually balance because they always do. This justice is blind. This justice has our eyes open. So in this read, you're being called to look more clearly at things. You're being called again to look at this lesson of justice, of evening the scales, clear-eyed, okay? We're going to take one more from the chakra deck and see if there's anything else that needs balanced as far as that aspect of things goes. And there it is. The devil. All right. This is kind of a toxic energy. This is, you know better than this. I mean, whatever this toxic is, whatever this toxic patterning person is, you know better than this. Don't take the easy way. Don't let your shadow self, your self-sabotage get to you. You can free yourself from whatever situation. You can rise above things and do better, and you know what that is regarding. You know when you're not in your best self, let's say. Is there anything else on the chakras? Whoa. Eight of Wands, again, look, guys, Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands. You are definitely to be having justice restored in one way or another, to you or for you, from you, whatever. There is a lesson in justice. It's a karmic lesson for all parties involved. How it plays out, that that's for justice to play her role. But be aware, this is a lesson that you signed up for, folks. The Eight of Wands coming strong. This is about you. What do you want to do? This is your survival needs. This is your high energy of what you want to do to put out in the world and how you receive it. It's not a matter of chaotic, even though it feels like that coming at you. It's a matter of focus. You're really, really being called to look at things and focus. Okay? That's that's the point of play for you. Be at the point of cause in your world. Um, this is the point. Instead of letting the results have an effect on you, this is you being the change you want to see. That kind of thing. You be the change. You be creating a circumstance, a situation that's for your betterment. This is be at the point of cause. All right? That's what I've got for you. Like, subscribe, tell a friend. Come again. Bye, guys.